Hey guys, it's Hey here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own Windows 10 bootable recovery partition. Now I made a video about this yesterday, but it was 22 minutes long, and I thought I took too long to explain, and I may have made people confused, so I wanted to make a second video on how you can create your own Windows 10 bootable recovery partition for free. Now all you need is to have a Windows 10 computer, and you need to have a... Uh, internet access and you need to be able to download a few programs and you're good to go and what this partition will allow you to do is it will allow you to boot up into a Windows 10 installation before Windows starts in case the event that your computer were to crash you can have this bootable recovery partition active so you can select it when you before you boot the computer up in the event uh, you need to uh, reinstall Windows and you don't have a DVD or you don't have a USB stick with a Windows installation on it. This uh, bootable recovery partition will basically have all the Windows 10 installation files on it and it will be bootable so you can activate it when you boot the computer up and reinstall Windows in case your computer were to crash. Okay, so without any further ado, I'll show you how to get it and it's very simple to do and you want to open up your browser and head to the Microsoft's website and download the media creation tool off their website for free and uh, by doing that, just open up your browser and do a Google search for Windows 10 media creation tool it's a free download from microsoft there is absolutely uh is absolutely free so here's their page here and uh i'll have the link in the description box for this uh page you want to go down to here and you want to choose the 64-bit edition i am assuming everybody is running 64-bit edition if not just download the 32-bit copy so uh click download now and uh, save it to a location like on your desktop. Now I already have the media creation tool on my desktop so I'm not going to re-download it and once you have that downloaded you want to open up the media creation tool and when you open up the media creation tool you'll get this you'll say get in a few things ready just give it a minute and what you want to do is you want to click create a installation media for another PC and make sure that's checked then come down to here where it says next and then you want to choose your language make sure you choose English if you're unless you're speaking a different language choose your edition it can be anything and then choose your your and choose 64 bit or 32 bit. Now I'm assuming most of you are going to be choosing the 64 bit. Okay, I mean, a lot of computers should be running 64 bit, so I would recommend you get the 64 bit ISO file. Then click next, and then you're going to check box right here where it says ISO file. Then click next, and then it's going to ask you to save this ISO file to a location on your computer. So you want to name this ISO file Windows 10 and then save it to the desktop and by doing that that will go ahead and it will start downloading the ISO file now I already have the ISO file down so I'm just going to cancel out of that real quick and uh, once you get the ISO file downloaded it you'll find it on your desktop in this case it's right here where my mouse is and what you want to do is you want to keep that on your desktop and what you want to do is you want to come down to your start menu and right click right click on it and in here you'll get an option called disk management and uh, in the disk management window you want to open it up make it full size you want to click your C drive right here then when you once you uh, click the C drive you're going to come down to where my mouse is right click right click and go shrink volume and what you want to do is you want to make a six gigabyte partition so what you want to do is you want to put six zero 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 into this box and then you want to click shrink and what that will do is it will create ourselves a nice six gigabyte partition so we can install this recovery partition on and once that is done it will say on allocated space right click on on allocated space and click new simple volume and then here you're going to click next and you're going to click next again and you're going to assign a drive letter so it can be any drive letter and uh i'll just call mine r for recovery it doesn't matter what letter it is just assign a drive letter then click next and then under volume label here under volume label just rename it recovery 
and then click next then click finished and there you go you've created yourself a recovery uh, partition here and uh, what we want to do from here is we want to exit the disk management window and then click on your start menu once you click your start menu up you're going to click file explorer if you can't get to it you can always click this folder down on your taskbar right here where, where my mouse is just click on that and open up file explorer and you're going to look for where it says this pc and then you're going to look look for the recovery r drive that we just created now this is our uh, little partition that we just created so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this recovery r drive and double click on that and then from there we're going to go and uh minim we're going to go f minimize that real quick and what we want to do is we want to go to our iso file that we had on our desktop that we just downloaded so open up the iso file and what you want to do is you want to drag all of this contents all these folders like and drag it all into drag it all into the uh the recovery partition that we've just created so by doing that you have your recovery partition open right and then you want to basically drive all of its contents and drag it into here and once you do that we'll uh i'll unpause the video once it's done extracting so right now we just have to wait till all of that is extracted into our recovery art partition and when that's done i'll unpause the video Alright, so we're just letting this finish up here. It's almost done. Alright, and it's now going to go over and it's going to copy the files over to our recovery partition. So that may take another few minutes to do. It's going by fast. We just have to wait for that to complete. All right, so that's that done. Now it's all copied all the files over to the uh, recovery partition that we created. So now we can exit out of the winrar.iso and you'll have all your files here, all right, in your recovery partition. So now when you back up, you'll see that your recovery R drive has all of the files in it for, to reinstall Windows. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna need to get one more program called Easy BCD for free. You can download this by doing a Google search. So what you do is you co up your browser one more time and do a search for Easy BCD, and uh, we'll get it from this website here. And I will have a link in the description box for this. And if you come down here, it's going to give you a, it's going to let you register for a free non-commercial use copy. Now, if you're planning on to do this with a business, and you course you're going to have to play $29 but if you're uh, just going to do it for with a uh, for non-commercial use it's free so click register and in here enter your email and your your name and your email and then it will allow you to download the easy BCD save the file to your desktop I've already got the file saved and once you install easy BCD you want to open it up and the program looks like this it's real simple what we have to do here we're just going to give it a chance to open up and in here what you want to do is you want to uh, you want to click right here where it says uh, add entry I'll zoom it in here and when you click down here where it says add entry you're going to come down to where it says win PE click on that and then from here you're going to click on this button here to select with the folder path and that will open up this and what you're going to do is you're going to click your recovery R drive that you created and then here you're going to look for a folder called sources and then down here you're going to find a file called boot w i m boot wim and you want to make sure you select that file and then once it's like this r sources boot dot wim you want to click add entry and it will say down here that when pe image is added to the boot menu successfully and then what you want to do is you want to click to where it says the edit boot menu and right here you want to click on this this and you want to rename this or just rename it and what you want to do is you want to uh, call it windows 10 recovery and uh, click enter and uh, once that's renamed to windows 10 recovery come down here click save and it will say the bootloader sentence have been saved successfully and that's it now when you boot your computer up you will have the option to uh, install Windows 10 
in case your computer becomes unbootable and you can also boot back into Windows 10 normally so now you have an entry to boot into Windows 10 and you'll have an entry in your bootloader to install Windows right when your computer boots up so if your computer ever comes corrupted you can reinstall Windows without having to use a USB stick or a or DVD. If you enjoy my videos, please remember to write, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.